question. What is it that gets larger as more is taken away? A hole. And what is used to dig that hole? A shovel. You may not believe it, but more construction and public works employees injure their back while shoveling than you can imagine. Of course, when we think of shoveling, we think of a pretty simple task. Everyone knows how to shovel correctly, or do they? They may know which end of the shovel goes into the ground, but most do not know how to shovel safely and efficiently. Shoveling is a skill, pure and simple. And like all skills, a level of competence and safety has to be acquired. Ever wonder why old timers can outwork the younger employee? Simple. They have finely honed their shoveling skills. The result is faster, more efficient, and safer work. Knowing how to shovel actually makes the task much easier. A large water district in San Diego discovered that a great number of back injuries suffered by inexperienced employees were tied directly to shoveling. The safety manager organized a training crew to deal with safety and orientation with a hands-on approach. A key element of the program was breaking old habits and teaching new employees how to shovel. And guess what happened? Right, the injury stopped and production improved. This success reinforced the idea that all employees don't necessarily have all the skills needed to work safely as new hires. Skills need to be developed and improved. Now before we go any further, let's take a look at the tools of your trade. Shovels come in all types, shapes, and sizes. From small meter shovels designed to dig narrow trenches to square point shovels with sloped handles designed to scoop or scrape loose material. There are also flat bladed spades designed to cut or shape soil to the old standby, the round tip shovel, the one most often used for digging holes. Some public agencies use long-handled shovels for pothole utilities. They're usually made of fiberglass handles to prevent accidental electrocution. If you look around, you'll be amazed at the wide array of shovels used in construction. When choosing a shovel, try to find one that fits your hands. The same care should be taken in choosing your shovel as a baseball player would in choosing his bat. You may not have much of a choice, but you may be able to sand the handle to better fit your hand. Avoid placing tape on the handle as it may hide a crack or other defect. Keep your shovel blade sharp. A hunter or fisherman knows the value of a sharp knife, and the same goes for a shovel. A dull blade just makes it hard to dig. A good file can be invaluable for keeping your equipment in good condition. Shovels are not indestructible. Avoid unnecessary strain on the blade or handle. Don't use them as pry or digging bars. Keep them out of the rain or water if possible as water can damage the handle over time. Be alert for damage to your shovel. Get the handle replaced whenever a crack appears. Get splinters repaired immediately. If the blade is damaged, get it repaired or replaced as well. As we mentioned earlier, many people are injured because they didn't use the proper technique. The most common problems are back injuries. After all, you may not realize it, but when you're shoveling, you're actually lifting. And when you lift a load, the actual weight of the load is increased, putting this weight on your delicate ligaments and discs. Most back injuries occur from twisting while shoveling, or from throwing a load into a high area, such as a dump truck, or up and out of a trench. Overextension from doing too much without a break or failing to pace yourself during large jobs can also lead to a possible back injury. Efficient, safe shoveling starts with small loads. Don't overload your shovel. Remember, you're actually lifting a heavy item. Don't heave your blade into the soil. This can strain your back and shoulders. Push it into the soil with your foot. Grab the handle with one hand near the end of the handle and then put the other hand about two-thirds of the way down the handle for the greatest leverage. When digging in wet soil or sticky clay, take small bites as you move along. 
It may seem slow, but it's the only way to work safely. Shoveling is one of those tasks that just needs to be done. You have a choice. Choose to protect yourself from injury. Take the time to talk to an old pro. Ask them the secrets of shoveling. You'll find out it's no big secret, just common sense. All the aspects of shoveling cannot be adequately covered during this short program. If you'd like more information about injury prevention and the concept of a training crew, please call or write. We'll be happy to help.